はいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはい、and welcome to my channel. I'm Simon, and today I'm back with my holiday TBR. As this goes live, I will be in Italy where I'm going to be for another week. And these are the books that I will have packed in my suitcase with a couple of possibles. Um, and you will get to see how I get on in reading vlogs, weekly reading vlogs over the weeks to come. So, I should say actually, Mum has packed some books that we might do a swap with and she has done a holiday TBR video which I will link down below on her channel. Um, but these are the ones that I'm planning. Now, I divide my reads into sort of, well, no, I don't divide them that much, but I have like airplane reads and holiday reads. And the reason for that is I hate flying. I talked about this in my last um, holiday TBR video. I really, <laughs> You don't like being up in the air. I don't mind taking off. I don't mind landing. It's just being in that tin can, thousands of miles above whatever, and it freaks me out. So I need a thriller, like, or a gripping book that's going to kind of keep me entertained along the way. And I have one for going out and one for coming back. And what I'm trying to do, actually, with all the books that I'm taking out is I'm going to leave them where we go. I have other copies of them. So um, yeah, or give them to mum and then mum can take them back if she can fit them in a case. So the first of which is Susan Hill's Question of Identity. I got back into the Simon Serrano series, which this is the seventh of, I think, um, earlier this year. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and I thought, well, it left on a bit of a cliffhanger, which may be taken into this book and maybe not, although having looked at the synopsis, I don't think so. But what I love about this series is not only is the crime generally quite gripping and quite tricky to work out, but also you get to know the people who live in Lafferton, which is the um, town that, or city actually, because it's got a cathedral, but it's the um, city that Susan Hill has made up for the Simon Serrano cases to take place in. I think this is Lafferton. I think but also it's when it's snowy which is going to be quite different but nothing wrong with that so yeah that is my planned flight out read that said it could change and be my planned flight back read um if I read this first instead this is Arsenic for Tea by Robin Stevens this is the second in her A Murder Most Unladylike mystery series. I absolutely loved the first Murder Most Unladylike. I loved the relationship between Daisy Wells and Hazel Wong and they solve a crime that happens at their school. This I think happens in Daisy's um, family home which is like this huge um, uh, stately home, uh, manor house, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really keen to get back to this. And I think Chris might be packing the first. So I was thinking, oh, then he might want to read the second. And possibly, I don't know if I'm going to take this or not, but we are on quite a few trains possibly while we're away. I also have First Class Murder um, by Robin Stevens, which is the third in the series. So, hmm. I also think my mum would really, really like these too. So I love the way that they've started to do this now with um, the series where, like, if you've got the second one. I want to basically get all of the ones where they've got all of the sprayed edges. So um, yeah, so that's the possible. We will see. That's the first of many possibles. Now, this book does possibly give away where we are for some of our holiday, but I mentioned in my um, recent sort of cover and a catch up video that I'm not asking for recommendations of where we're going because I just want to experience it myself. I've got some recommendations of people who have lived in Rome or live in Rome. Um, I've given away where I'm going for part of the holiday, Rome. And um, yeah, so I don't need loads of uh, recommendations, but thank you if you were thinking of it. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm being ungrateful, but I just kind of want to have a really chill time and not feel like I've got a list of things that I have to do other than the ones that I've already worked out. But also sometimes, and I said this before, so I know I'm repeating myself, if you suddenly get like a load of recommendations for stuff on holiday, you feel a bit of a failure if you don't do this, some of them or feel rude if you don't do some of them or... So anyway, back to the book. Now this is a chunkster and I'm planning on reading it like a bit every day. I was going to do it as an audio book, but I don't like the narrator. She's really, really posh and I'm upset. Like, as I mentioned in my previous video, I was really, really cross when I listened to David Olashoga's Black and British that it wasn't him reading it. And I'm really cross that Mary Beard doesn't read S. PQR, A History of Ancient Rome, which I want to dip in and out of um, leading up to when I'm in Rome. And uh, yeah, I just, I thought this is the time. This is the time. It's a whopping uh, 500 and something pages, but if I could read like 100 pages a day, that'd be amazing. And we're planning on being quite um, 
not clever, but we're planning on, yeah, we are being quite clever with our time and the fact that we're only going to go on maybe three excursions during the whole week we're in one place. And then, like I said, when we're in Rome for the final bit, when mum and my stepdad will come back, because I think we're having one night in Rome together. Um, but when, yeah, when we're away with mum and Tim, we only want to have like a few things that we do. We kind of want to just chill and sit and, you know, have a really, really relaxing time. Not too much stimulation because when I get back, it's bonkers. Anyway, on to the other book. So again, I don't feel like this counts because I'm reading a bit of it every day, but obviously it does count as a holiday read. Um, so while I'm away, the books that I would really, really like to get to are Bitter by Akweki Emeze. I read... Um, their romance novel, uh, You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty, while I was in Sal on my last holiday for my 40th. And the reason I'm having two holidays in quite quick succession is because I can't take any leave from the end of April until the end of September. So while I can, I'm maxing out on it. Anyway, this is in the same world as Pet, which I really, really loved. And I know Mum really, really enjoyed. So I thought we could both get quite a bit out of this one. Then an author that I love, mum loves and my stepdad loves is Jess Kidd um, and this is The Night Ship. So um, yeah, I'm going to be taking this one away too. I don't know very much about it. I've been asked if I'll give it a quote. So uh, yeah, I thought, right, I'm going to do that and then I can pass it on. And I will say out of the one that mum's taken, the one that I'm most excited about is The Dance Tree by Kieran Morwood Hargrove. So I'm hoping that I get to that one as well as these but we'll see. Um, then I have Things We Do Not Tell the People We Love by Huma Qureshi. Uh, this is a um, short story collection, very big print. So I think I'll whiz through this one and I've heard it's utterly amazing. It was the Candid Book Club who um, were one of the book clubs on the first series of Sky Arts Book Club, which um, I'm one of the presenters on um, and also present the Sky Arts Book Club Extra every week on Sky, always linked down below. I feel like I'm mentioning it a lot at the moment, but why not? Because if you want more content, that's where it is. Um, as well as obviously on my Patreon and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, they recommended this to me and I thought, oh, I'd like to read more short stories. So this is the first of two collections I'm taking. The other one being The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filiao, which I have a copy of from America, because I didn't know when this was going to be coming out here, but, and I said this in my wrap up, uh, no, not my wrap up, my book call recently, I think there's going to be an, a really easy, beautiful um, picture for Instagram that can be made if I manage to get like some fresh apricots or peaches or whatever this is, what I'm going to see, and of course they'll be tasting delicious, so it'll be the best of both worlds, so yeah. Um, that one is going in my luggage, as is the new Sarah Schmidt Blue Hour, which I think I've also been asked to give a quote for. Um, and I know that Chris will really, really want to read this. We adore Sarah. She's actually come to stay with us. I believe there is a Simon in this book, so that's exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this is going to be dark and gothic and twisty, though. So something quite different from the rest of the books. And I want that. I want a bit of variety. And maybe, I don't know if Mum's read to see what I've done or not. Um, but if she hasn't, I need to make her. Um, but yeah, maybe uh, Mum will want to give this a read too. Uh, and then last but not least, but I'll be taking the proof edition of this one. Um, it's already in my suitcase, so I know that that's true. Um, I'm taking A Tidy Ending by Joanna Cannon. Uh, me, Mum, Chris, Tim all love Joanna Cannon's novels. And so again, it's a crowd pleaser. All of us can get reading. Maybe we could even do... Uh, family book club chat for you all or something we'll see I don't know how much film oh, I'm obviously going to film as I read and chat about it and I'm also planning on doing a separate sort of travel vlog for possibly a new channel but um I don't know if I'll actually do that much filming as in sitting down with a camera and chatting like this when I'm away because it's a holiday um but yeah I'm so excited I started this on my last holiday but then decided to save it for later um and later is now, as it appears. Well, not now. Well, it might be now. I might be reading it today while I'm away, but I might not. We'll see. So there we go. Those are the books that I'm sort of definitely taking. Well, with the potential of this one, we'll see. I was thinking about taking one of these two with me, um, Kate Atkinson's Behind the Scenes at the Museum and The Poison Will Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. The reason I've decided not to is their prompts and um, prompt books. They're not work, but they are books that have been put into my TBR by I suppose others, but randomly as well. Um, and what I think I want to do with these 
is take them when I'm traveling throughout May and June, when I'm literally going to a city uh, every day for four days. No, four cities, one a day each week. Um, and I'm gonna have lots of train rides and stuff to go on and lots of time to head to some sort of more chunky backlist books. Um, so yeah, so that's my sort of plan with that. I've also got a few others that I can actually see in my eyeline now that I'd like to take away with me, like Rachel's Holiday and stuff, which I took away with me last time along with this one actually and didn't read. So that's why I've decided not to put them in my case for now. And one last thing to show you, because I haven't shown any of you this and I love it, is one of the bookmarks I'm gonna be taking with me. And this, my neighbour Jill, who cat sits, although my brother will also be cat sitting at some point, so let's hope there's a house to come back to. Um, this uh, Jill, my neighbour, she made this especially for me for my 40th birthday. Is that not lovely? I meant to share it sooner, but um, yeah, that's going in my packing too. So there we are, that is the books that I'm gonna be taking on my holidays. Um, and I shall report back once I've read them, be it in reading vlogs and also obviously my wrap up. So yeah, there we go. That seemed like quite a short, easy video. I'm quite tempted now to go off on a huge amount of tangents, but I won't. So I will simply say that I'll be back on Thursday with a video that I know lots of you look forward to and I love making and it was really, really good fun. It's a big one to edit though. I haven't done it yet. I'm hoping to do it maybe on the plane or something. Um, or while we wait for the plane. Um, I am, what is it Simon? Just get on with it. <laughs> it's me and mum doing our personal shortlist for the Women's Prize 2022. You can see all the books there. We each picked six. How many did we have in common? Did we have a row? What went on? I actually am wearing this t-shirt in that video, even though it's recorded how many days apart. I'm just in love with this t-shirt at the moment because it really matches this room. Um, but yeah, that will be my next video on Thursday. I hope you're all doing super duper well. Do leave me comments below if you've read any, read any of these. Don't tell me if you didn't like them because obviously I'm excited about them because I'm taking them away with me. But also let me know what books you like to take away with you on holiday or if there's any. I've just realised apart from... Oh, see, I said there wasn't going to be any attendance, now there are. Apart from this, which is set in Italy, I haven't actually packed an Italian book. And maybe I can see it. This is my time to read The Lost Daughter by Eleanor Ferrente and give her one final chance because we've been like that, if I'm honest, me and Eleanor. Um, so is it Eleanor or Elena? But I also really, really watched that film. So maybe I'll sneak that one in because that's also really short. And I do like to read books by authors set in the places that I'm going to, which I meant to mention, or books about the places that I'm going to, like this. So um, yeah, let me know um, if you do that as well. And uh, yeah, I would love to uh, have a chat with you in the comments down below. Might be a bit slower than normal because I'll be on my phone as little as I can be, apart from taking lots of pictures, which I'll be putting on Instagram, which is also linked below. I'm gonna go now. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.